Ava, been diagnosed with stage three liver failure. I have to make a lot of changes in my life to get past this. What does spirit want me to know about me and this condition? Please pray for me, guys. Well, the wonderful thing about the liver is that it's regenerative. You can bring it back. Did you know that when I was, how old, 28, I went into a coma. I had my baby, and then I contracted a septic infection. And septic means it, it affected every single organ, including my heart. There is a clot in my heart. There was a clot in my left uterine vein, and I got really, really sick, and my liver failed. I got jaundiced, and they thought I was going to need a liver transplant, among many, many other things. I went into a subsequent, subsequent coma, and when I woke up and got my bearings, because it's very disorienting, I was super, super skinny, and my liver was really, really struggling. So for me, that was scary, but I was young. I was a, really, I was a young girl, and I remember the, the blood doctor saying, you're lucky you're so young, because if this had happened in your 40s, you'd be dead, D-E-D, -E -D, dead. <laughs> you'd be gone, but I had youth on my side. But I also remember him telling me that the liver is an incredible and miraculous organ. It is, has the ability to heal itself with the love and the care. So two things for you. Life decisions, doing things differently and doing things better is going to do nothing but help this particular condition. So eating the right things, doing the right things, drinking a lot of water is really, really important. See, the liver detoxifies us, right? It takes what the body is attempting to shed and it allows it to be purged from the body and it needs help, especially at this stage. It needs supplemental help in order to do that. So do those things that you know will support your liver. One of the ways we can take care of our body is to talk to it and send it love. Everything is energy. At our base form, that is all we are. We are energy that's moving around at a certain rate. Me, Crystal Ann Compton. I'm just energy that's moving around and taking the form of this body, this face, and this voice. And my liver, which exists within me, is also energy which has taken a specific form. And it's in the shape of my liver doing whatever it is doing, but it's moving around at a certain pa pattern. But it's energy. And energy can talk to energy. Energy also understands energy. There's an energetic language that supersedes, goes beyond, existed before the actual pattern that was ultimately taken. So when we talk to our heart and we say, thank you for pumping, Thank you. And then spending the requisite time in meditation and so on to actually consciously send love to the heart. Just like you'd send love to your baby, looking at your little baby. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. I love you so much. Looking and adoring the baby. You're sending consciousness into your baby. You're sending an energy into that baby. And guess what? The baby feels it. When you're arguing in another room of the house, does your baby start crying over there? Yes, because your baby is energy, and energy talks to energy. And so just as you would look at that baby and send love to it, and that baby would receive it, so too can you send love to your heart. So too can you send love, and do I send love, to my right knee. I've got a blasted out arthritic right knee. I've had it for 10 years. My brother has the same thing. I need my knee. I gotta walk. I wanna do yoga. There's things that I have to do. And so I take the re requisite time to say thank you to my knee. My knees have been holding me up for 49 years. And my knees will continue to do so for as long as they possibly can. Man, my knees are warriors. Thank you. And I send love to you, my knees. And your digestive system also. And your reproductive system also. If you're feeling... If you have issues with reproduction, do you spend enough time just loving yourself, your body as it's made, sending love, sending alignment, sending healing, sending the clearing energy into the spaces that may have obstructions? It's powerful. Energy talks to energy. And so I would say to you, Ava, talk to your liver. Encourage your liver. It's like these experiments with water. You have a glass of water and you put the word on, on a label, on the glass of water that says, I love you. And then you have another glass of water and you put a label that says, I hate you. And then you look on a microscopic level at the water and it has different crystalline patterns. And the patterns of the I hate you glass are chaotic. And the patterns of the I love you glass are sacred geometry. Why energy talks to energy. You wrote that one month ago, that water is still affected by it. It's powerful. They do the same with cymatics, using sound 
and the vibration of sound to move around sand. Certain sounds create sacred geometrical patterns and sound is just another energy. It's an energy that moves things around. It's a transmission. That's what sound is. Use your sound. Use your energy. Use your intention. Use your love as you're sending that love to a baby, use that love to send it to your liver. Your liver will receive it, and your liver needs it. And your liver needs it. And so to your question, I would say we have majority mitigation. Majority mitigation means, for the most part, we return to a state of health. Not totally in the timelines that they are showing me. By about a quarter. By about a quarter. So 25% of previous functionality when you are at optimum health will not be recovered in the next one to five years. 75% can be. And that's enough. That's enough to thrive. That's enough to be successful. And if you continue on, my sense would be that we can mitigate further. So yes, much can be done just through the lifestyle, just through the way that we think, and through the conscious thanking and gratitude and active loving of the liver and the rest of your body. Because make no mistake, where there's imbalance in one system, it spills into the next. And so other areas of your physical body are affected by an imbalance that's taking place in your liver. If something's presenting in the physical body and instrument at this time as out of order, then we need to take care of the whole being as well as the thing that's got the acute problem. We do the triage on the liver, right? We love it and we do our meditations and we're spending time with that liver, liver but don't forget the whole system because we're out of whack in the whole system. And this affects the energies, which are the auras and the chakra systems. And this affects everything. So be very mindful, body, mind, and spirit. It's not just happening in your liver. It's happening to you all of who it is that you are. And transmission, mahalo. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.